Now apparently there are deer just roaming wild and we're hoping to get the chance to get right up and close with some. There's some lovely tea rooms and pubs here, Suzanne, but just a little short on parking spaces, isn't it? We're at Bradgate Park, somewhere we've wanted to visit for quite some time. It's just to the north of Leicester and has deer roaming free. There's also Old John Tower, a folly and the War Memorial. I knew it was a little bit undulating, but Google Earth obviously doesn't show it up anywhere near as much as it is, but... Uh, delightful place. Are you coming along here? Oh, are you staying there, are you? Yeah, I'm staying up here. Let's see who can be the first one to spot a deer. Okay. So that was lunch at um, the Bradgate Arms, was it called? Yeah, I think it was. And, uh, well, I had the usual fish and chips because I couldn't find anything else on the menu for a change, but what, what was that you had? Sausage plat. You seem to enjoy it. Anyway. It's lovely. Yeah, very nice pub. Anyway, so we're in Bradgate Park and I'm not really surprised by the amount of people that are here. Now, if that's the waterfall that I've been looking for, slightly disappointing, but lovely nevertheless. This really is an amazing place when you consider that it's just north of Leicester and it's quite rocky as well, just up there. So we're going to get a bit further along here to the ruins. And uh, Suzanne's suffering with a really bad knee at the moment, so whether she'll be able to tackle the hill up to Old Tom, I think it's called, the Folly. We'll have to wait and see. There she is taking a rest. <laughs> I didn't know you'd go that way. Say again? I didn't know you'd go that way. Yeah. You're going up there. Yeah, I think I'll go and take a look. Looks interesting, I think. Quite rocky as well. No, nothing special. Somewhere here, there is a big hollow tree. Ooh. Is that it? No, it wasn't what I thought it was. Is that the hollow tree and the stone's been put in it? No, no, it is completely, well, unless they've changed it, but it's completely hollow. I can see the uh, ruins of Bradgate House, was it called? The head. Um, yeah. Through there, yeah. There is a lot of rock about, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, keep your eye open for a hollow tree. Looks hollow enough to actually get inside. They stay together for life, you know. Yeah, they do. Drink together. <laughs> We picked a good day today, Suzanne. We did. That's a lovely view, isn't it? It's beautiful. Right, shall we make some tracks? Yeah. That does look like some deer on the top of that hill there, Suzanne. I'll get my long lens out. Well, that's our first sign of some deer. 
but they are some distance away. Let's hope we can find some a little bit closer to where we are. What is this the ruins are? Well, it's Bradgate House, but I'm, I've no idea why it became ruinous, but I'm hoping there'll be some information up here. If not, I'll have to Google it. Bradgate House is one of England's great lost country houses, a once magnificent Tudor mansion and the birthplace of Lady Jane Grey, the tragic Nine Days Queen. Look quite substantial, don't they? So, Yeah, like the little housey thing. Whether the, uh, as happened with some of these old buildings, the bricks were stolen and were used on some of the houses in the village, so it's not actually just decayed, you know what I mean? It's been uh, kind of assisted by mankind. Are you making that up? No. So you thought I was just waffling on a bit there, Suzanne, and as if I knew what I was talking about. Yeah, I thought, she's just making that up to go along. <laughs> well, I've got to fill the, fill the dead air with something. But it may well be that. It is possible. You know, some ruins have been or become ruinous because people have stone, stolen all the stone and things. Uh, you know, to build houses in the past. So we're at the uh, ruins, Suzanne, but unfortunately we can't go in. So I have been corrected, haven't I, Suzanne? It's Old John Tower, yeah. not Old Tom. You I don't made know why, that up as well. I don't know why I thought it was Old Tom. I was researching last night. Because there was a film called Old Tom. Oh, was there? You sure? I think so. Remember John Thor, Thor was in it. That wasn't called Old Tom, was it? What was it then? It was something Tom. Was something, something of Mr. Tom. Good night, Mr. Tom. Good night, Tom. Mr. Tom. That's nothing <laughs> like what you've said. <laughs> the English oak tree north of this stone was planted by Colonel R.A.S.T.G. Martin, OBE, J.P., Chairman of the Bradgate Park Managing Committee, on Saturday, the 19th of March, 1977, in respectful memory of Roger, 10th Earl of Stamford, 1896 to 1976 to whose family this estate belonged for several centuries. Well, we did see plenty of deer, but unfortunately, none of them were up close. But thankfully, I had my zoom lens. Do you think that tree was getting blown down in them winds? And they put them things there to hold it up? Well, I wouldn't think necessarily in the winds we've just had, if that's what you mean. They're probably permanent structures by the look of them because the tree is pretty weak, isn't it? And without those, it would have certainly blown down in the wind, I would have thought. But yeah, yeah, it would have. They're not temporary things, you know, they're... Permanent. They're proper. So we drove to the top car park, and I'm gonna go and take a look at the old John Tower. Suzanne's going to stay in the car, because it is still quite a hike, and extremely windy. Right, so Suzanne's knee is too sore at the moment to uh, tackle this last piece of the hill, so I'm going to go up to old John and take a look and see what it's all about. Apparently it is a folly, but um, it does get compared to a beer tankard. Is that what you call it? I can't remember. Beer jug with a little arch on the right hand side that looks like a handle. It's probably a lot steeper than it looks. But uh, like I said, I'm sure it would be worth it. But it's getting very windy, so I'm hoping this uh, wireless go microphones, well, it's got a little dead cat on it, so I'm hoping it's going to be okay. But it's not too far now. Tremendous views from up here, I have to be honest. Should be able to see right over Leicester from up here. You may notice I'm not saying much. I was pretty puffed out. But there is an easier way, I realised once I'd got to the top of the hill, if you go round the right hand side. And there it is, the city of Leicester. Now I'm not sure if you can hear any of this because it is so windy up here. But if you can, that is the city of Leicester.
Old John is the highest hill in Bradgate Park, on the southern edge of Charmwood Forest. It gives its name to the folly that stands on its top. The hill stands at 212 metres high and is a prominent landmark across Leicester and Leicestershire. And while I'm up here, I'm going to go and take a look at the War Memorial. Right, so just behind me up there, I think you can see it, is Old John. And now, just up this last bit of this hill and take a look at this uh, War Memorial. And of course down there is the park that we were wandering around earlier on. Just through there is the ruins, I'm not sure if you can see them on here. And right behind it is the city of Leicester. It is an amazing viewpoint. Through there, towards the north, I can just see the cooling towers just outside Nottingham. Right, well, I'm sure Suzanne would be sorry that she missed that, uh, but I'll tell her all about it anyway. A little bit disappointing because I wanted to get the drone up, but it's just far too windy and there are a lot of people around, so maybe some other time. Thank you.